Hey guys, doing a different type of review today. Um, normally I do Transformers and movie figures and all that good stuff. Never really delved into any anime section except for that Dragon Ball Z uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta figure. But I'm going to start doing anime figures. Uh, I've got two that I just got, which I'm reviewing today, and this is the first of them. I do have a lot of anime figures uh, as part of what I collect. And this is from the anime Bleach. Uh, it's made by Toonami, which is a great toy company. That's easily one of my favorites. Uh, they just make fantastic toys. Here's the back. And I actually have Ichigo, which I'll be reviewing soon, I guess. Sometime this week, maybe. Um, and Rukia. Don't want uh, Orhime or Chad, uh, although Chad's not too bad. And I have Renji, that's, what, that's who I'm reviewing right now is Renji. But I do want to get uh, Byakuya. Uh, I don't know if I'll get him anytime soon, it'll probably be down, down the road, but I'll get him eventually. I am chewing gum, sorry about, sorry about that. Um, but, let's see advertisement for the bleach card game which I don't have any of the cards except for what come what have what has come with some of the figures on the back here it says Rinji is the squad six lieutenant both Rinji and Rukia grew up in the uh, Rukan district where they became steadfast friends his Zompak toes name is Zobimaru and Zombie Maru is of course Zombie Maru is of course the uh, the weapon that detaches into like uh, I think it's like nine or ten different parts. It's kind of like a snake, basically. It's a snake, a bladed snake type weapon. It's really cool. Um, and actually, his uh, his bankai is sort of based around the idea of a snake on top of that. So there's the front. With the very cool picture of uh, Renji. Let's give you some detail of the figure in the package. As you can see, the laptop screen is obviously glaring on the package, so you have to forgive me uh, for that. Oh, wrong way. And these figures are, are nicely detailed. I mean, they're not real, it's supposed to be real life figures, but for them being anime, uh, anime-based toys, they're really detailed, so, you know, and the packaging is nice, I mean, I really don't have any complaints, it's the same as the Series 1 packaging, which I liked, so, packaging is a 9.5, I mean, the only real problem is, you may, you might, you might get some dings here and there, because, really, I've only ever found these online, I've never seen any of these in stores. So it's a 9.5 for the packaging. I'm um, going to open them and I'll review them from there. Okay, so here's Renji out of the package. Um, like I said, I think I gave the packaging a, a 9.5. Um, I'm going to bring it down to a 9. Um, I forgot their packaging was made uh, like this. It's made like Hasbro's where push this back, yeah, where it has collector tabs but it only has collector tabs right here it doesn't have them on the side because the package extends out here to show you character art so you have to cut this this right here to get it out and you know that's not really well hidden um, so it doesn't you can't put it on your your wall and say, oh yeah, uh, he's open, but you know, you can't really tell. Um, so I'm going to bring it back down to a 9, um, because of that. I, I thought that, that it was like that. I, uh, I remember it had the tabs, so. But anyways. Uh, it, it is sort of like Hasbro's little collector tab deal, but it's not as, uh, I don't know, it's not as is functional, I guess, is the right word. 
so Toinami still has a bit of work to do in that department. Uh, other than that, their figures are awesome. So, yeah. Anyways, it's a 9. Which is still really, really good. It came with this. He came with this. Uh, upon further inspection, I did notice that he had a card under there uh, that comes like this, so you can't really tell what it is. But I imagine that everyone's going to get a Renji card because Ichigo came with an Ichigo card like like this, and Rukia came with a Rukia card like this. So I think everyone gets a uh, Renji card when they get Renji. So I don't know why they cover it up and put it on the bottom like that. It makes you think it's a promotional item. Uh, packet, pack with packet uh, when it's faced like that and you don't actually read the trading card game print which is kind of small but here's the card a very cool picture of Renji my second favorite Bleach character my favorite is easily Ichigo though Ichigo is, is awesome So there's the card. Just the fact that it comes with this, like the other two figures, raises the score on this guy. Uh, anything that figures come with as a bonus is awesome in my opinion. As for the actual figure, his articulation his articulation wasn't as nice as I thought it was going to be. Uh, from looking at the promotional pictures or the prototype pictures, whatever. But it's still really damn good. Uh, compared to like Ichigo or, or whatever, the stand pegs into his feet. It's a little loose, but there's the pegs are so long that it doesn't matter. And there's the Bleach logo, which it kind of comes out of the the stand. It's you know it, it stands out of the plastic, and it's painted. All this is painted. I don't think it's I don't think it's any kind of sticker or anything. Anyway, it's gonna do a size comparison for people that have other figures like Transformers or whatever. Here he is with a DCD, uh, not a DCD, a DC Mattel figure. I have to say DCD. Um, and here he is with. An animated deluxe figure, which this is basically the size of any kind of deluxe figure, really, from, from Transformers. <clears throat> so, without the stand, he's about, I'm gonna say about six and a half inches, Some, somewhere around there, maybe seven inches. So, it's pretty big. He fits in with with the other line and uh, with the rest of the line from uh, Bleach. Anyways, that's how, that's how big he is. Stand him back up on there. So he's huge compared to Mattel uh, collector figures uh, and Transformers. Deluxe Transformers, that is. Anyways, Ringy's articulation. I'm gonna get to that first before I talk about the sculpt or anything else. Well, I'm gonna do the sword first, actually. I don't wanna scratch it with the paint. His articulation. His arm rotates to a degree right here at, the, at this joint. But I wouldn't do it too much because it has a one joint, one jointer, you know. Uh, this joint snaps onto that joint, so I could easily see that breaking. It's not a, it's not a prong joint where you got two parts right here and you got one part that snaps in there and it moves like that. It's not one of those. So you just be careful with that. His arm does extend outward like that, and it folds all the way up like that. So it's, he's having the, so so he can be like, I just had him where his sword was resting on his shoulder. That's really all the articulation he has in that arm. Uh, 